Well, this is where we left off in part five of the last episode. We're leaving Newcastle to head towards Tenworth for another adventure. So we'll catch you on the road, guys. Well, welcome, guys. He's turning, babe. He's turning. Hi. And he just sees indicator. Yeah. It's one of why he slowed right down. Good morning, guys. We've left Newcastle. We've left the daughter's place, haven't we, babe? Yep. And we had a ball of a time there, <laughs> didn't we? Especially yesterday. <laughs> oh, all weekend, but yesterday was so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> On our little boat and a barbecue adventure. <laughs> anyway, we're coming up to Singleton now, and we're heading to Tamworth today. Now, we've had to go inland. For reasons being, we can't get up through on the coastway because of fires which are absolutely raging at the moment across New South Wales. So, we're going inland to Tamworth, aren't we? Yeah, you can even see the smoke from here. Yeah, the smoke's sort of blowing back our way today, isn't it? Yeah. So it's across the mountains up in front. I'm not sure if you'll pick it up on the cameras, but anyway, we are going to grab a bit of lunch somewhere here in Singleton when we get there. No, a bit of brekkie, won't it, babe? Brekkie, yeah. It won't be lunch. We've got a pleasant 24 degrees at the moment, 23 degrees. It's going to get warm, but it's going to get hot tomorrow. Talking 35, 37 in Newcastle. Now I might have a grumpy buddy. I might have a grumpy sidekick back there tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know which one that is, babe? No idea. No, no idea. It's not with us. <laughs> yeah. uh. We're coming into Singleton now and we can see the Golden Arches, so I reckon we'll be having brekkie there. What do you reckon, babe? Reckon we will. They do do a nice coffee. Beautiful coffee, actually. Can't beat a Macca's on the road, brekkie. Yeah, I'll have a look and see what the deal is for today. Oh, that's Remembrance Day over there, babe. Oh, yeah. What time is it? 10.34. Over here on the left. Yeah. You ruined me? Yep. Right there. This is the old town centre by the looks of it, don't it, babe? Yeah, it yeah, looks, looks like it, yeah. We're coming through Musselbrook now, aren't we? Or yep, just it's 50k. Yep, just on the outskirts anyway. It's a fair sized town, Musselbrook. We're just on the outer edge of it at the moment. Nice and green and pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, as so many New South Wales towns are. Yeah. Musselbrook is a town in the upper Hunter region of the New South Wales, Australia, about 243 kilometres north of Sydney and 127 kilometres northwest of Newcastle. Geologically, Musselbrook is situated in the northern parts of the Sydney Basin, bordering the New England region. The area is predominantly known for coal mining and horse breeding, but has also developed a reputation for gourmet food and wine production. Here we go, we've got a big coal train going through the Hunter Valley. We'll measure how long it is. That's it, it might disappear before we get to the end of it, babe. Yeah. We've already gone a kilometre, so it's just over a kilometre long. Wow. Just Matt, right on a kilometre long. According to the Strom. <laughs> no, so we're coming in the scone or scone or what do you want to call it? It's spelled like scone. <laughs> it's spelled like scone. I think it's scone though, isn't it? I think I'm so. not sure. Anyway, we're coming into there. A bit of roadworks here. Apparently they're making a bypass through here. Which by the looks of it's gonna go over to the left there, babe, and around. Yeah. Never mind. It's not open this year, we're still going the old way. So we might get to see something. Scone's the horse capital. The horse capital, is that what it said? Yeah, they have a horse festival and all there. Oh, do they? Yep. What time of the year? You seem to know a lot about it. No idea. Oh, Jesus. Now you've let me down. The Scone Horse Festival is a unique event that takes place between the 8th and 17th of May 2020 in the beautiful Scone and the surrounding Upper Valley each year in May. The festival includes events that showcase the versatility of the horse and the important role they play in the local area, 
Enjoy 10 days of everything you can and can't imagine that involves horses from thoroughbreds to farriers, tent pegging to rodeo and everything in between. A stunning street parade, world class horse racing and fun, mostly free events for people of all ages. There's a horse running across the road over there, bud. Yep. They sell that shit beer here too. Which one? Great Northern. Great Northern. That shit stuff. Yeah. Oh, look at the foal there, babe. Yeah. See, everything's to do with horses. Yep. Well, that was scone. This is where the bypass is going in and around, I guess. Leaving Scone and still heading towards Tamworth, we called into a little town called Marundi. Well, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's about 41 k's from Scone. We hopped off the bikes here for a nice cold drink. It was starting to get warm. A lot of the local residents come up to us and was talking to us here. And we learnt quite a few interesting things about out. this little town. Where are you, We're out and about at... Marundi. 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 And we've got stuff here, haven't we, babe? Yep. What have we got? Go and see if that cannon works, babe. <laughs> that gun. It's a nice little town, isn't it? Yeah, it's very warm. Yeah, it is very warm, and we're on the way to Tamworth, aren't we? And we've just stopped for a little drink, haven't we? Doesn't work. What? Nothing. Doesn't work? Nothing. Hop on it and have a go at it. No, I don't know how to work it. Okay. It's rusted out. It's rusted out, is it? Is that why they've taken it out of commission? Yep. Okay, so we're going to go and have a sit down, have a cold drink, maybe a hot drink, I don't know. Kim's memory card's full in it, sweetie. Yep. yep. She's filled it up. Anyway, let's go. Are you with me? <laughs> Unfortunately. Oh, here we go. Same shit all the time in it, eh? Yep. It's got to come up with new stuff. There's the bikes there. Right there. There's the other bike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a break in this cafe here, aren't we? What, take a break? Yeah. Oh yeah, take a break cafe. This is Marundi's main street. Marundi. Marundi. I wonder if they've got toilets here, babe. Yes, they've got toilets here somewhere. Well, let's go for a little walk here. Which way do you go in, babe? Um, that one coming, oh yes, yeah. it is, it is too. Yeah. The visitor center. <laughs> See ya. Hey guys, so we've just had a coffee here, haven't we, my dear? Yeah, and had a chat. To and had, people. yes, uh, some of the locals. And we'll just sit down here and tell you a little bit, won't we? Yeah. Go through, my dear. Ladies first. Oh. <laughs> uh, where's the fucking lady? Yeah. <laughs> but we've just had a talk to a few people here. And apparently, this is the only town in Australia that's on level six water restrictions. They haven't had anything in the river since 2015. Um, they can't remember the last good rain or anything here. And they're trucking, what was it, 12 loads of water in a day here at the moment to keep the town going. And they're storing it in a reservoir up on the hill somewhere? Yeah, up the back there somewhere. Mm -hmm. So these guys are doing it hard up here, aren't they? Yeah. But they have got a pipeline coming through to the town. Uh, that won't be operation, operational until next year sometime. Early next year or what? They didn't say. Didn't say. Didn't yeah. say. But no, there's some very nice people here. Nice coffee. Lovely. Yeah, so Lovely. give these guys a shout out because they're doing it real tough at the moment, aren't they, both? Yeah, and what's the place called? It is called... Marundi. 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 Look it up. Apparently, level six water restrictions. The only ones in Australia on level six. Yep. Aren't they? Anyway, we'll head back to the bike and we'll mosey on to Tamworth. What's the matter? A little nut. Mm. <laughs> nut. I've got a big nut here with me. <laughs> okay, so we're hopping back on the bikes now. We'll catch you down the road a little bit further, guys. Bye. Well, we left Marundi. Breaks your heart hearing stories like that out there in the outback. I know it affected us deeply. But anyway, 
Off we trotted down the New England Highway. We still had another 91 odd k's to go before we got to Tenworth. Well, of course, on the way in, we had to stop at the Harley Davidson shop. Kim wanted to, so it's a must do. She picked up a couple of good bargains in of t shirts, so. Well, Tenworth's not on fire, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Can't see any smoke. No, it's pretty clear, isn't it? Oh, we could have went in there. Oh, we could have. Yeah, oh, we can get in down here, babe. You got the quality in there, but that's a bit dear, I think, isn't it? Yeah, it looks freaking dear. Yeah. <laughs> I think these ones at the moment are about uh, 135. Oh, 150 or something, I think. Oh, I've seen online they had some for 135 at the Ibis. It's probably up fucking stairs where we don't want to be, though. Yeah. Oh, I'll go in and have a look. God, duck your head there, babe. <laughs> no parking there. Just come around to your left and then come back around, OK? Yeah. And we'll, or you watch. I'll put us down to the left. Because <laughs> oh, <laughs> we're facing this fucking way. Yeah. I'll go and see what sort of trouble we're going to get into here now. Yeah. OK. I left Kim out the front in the nice 34 degrees heat while I went inside to check out to see if we can get a room. Nice and air-conditioned inside there, so I was in no hurry. But it looks like she was fine. I think she was Facebooking the whole time I was in there, lol. <laughs> we got to go. We didn't get a room. Yeah, OK. We didn't get a room, babe. All right. They seen you out there on the Harley. They said, well, the Harley can't, but you can. Oh. That's what they told me. 148, babe. Did you tell them you wanted to be a Harley rider? No, I did not tell them any such thing. <laughs> We've yeah, stayed there where that little golf cart is before, babe. Yeah. 138, 139. On the next block, is yep. it? Yep. Yeah, they put us a fair way away. Harley riders, babe, Harley riders. Okay, there we go, right there. 148. Might we as well be up back up at the fucking Harley shop. Woo! Woo, Nessie! Woo, Nessie! Turn that beast off! Turn that bitch off. <laughs> she really is a nice woman, but she doesn't act it sometimes. <laughs> you yeah. haven't found the remote to turn me off. <laughs> oh, fucking over, I haven't, because the GoPro remote don't work. Turn you off? No. Okay, let's go. Let's get our shit sorted. Yes, we've got the right one. Babe, turn the aircon on. Turn her on, turn the fridge down. Yep. We've got a safe. How much did this $50 room cost us? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea, actually. Uh, 135 Oh, no, babe, no, nah, $140. Oh, at least the telly's building the wall for us. Do you see? carpet, that's going to give me epileptic fit. Yo, oh, you fucking go cranky over that. That's so messed up, that carpet. <laughs> yeah. Super <laughs> right. Get over it. Happy afternoon, guys, because we're having one, aren't we, sweetie? <laughs> we're in Tenworth for the night, and what a beautiful day we've got in it. About 28 degrees, no smoke in the air, but we've come inland. We couldn't go up the coast, could we? Too many fires up through Port Macquarie and all that way, so we couldn't get through that way, so we've gone inland for a bit. And we have had a fantastic ride today, and we come up from Newcastle, and we stopped at where? Marundi. Mar Marundi. Marundi. Yes. We had to talk to some locals there. And they're saying they're on stage six water restrictions, which is the highest in Australia. So they're getting 12 truckloads a day of water delivered in there. Unreal, isn't it? I mean, you think how lucky we are back home, isn't it? Right? Yeah. yeah, how lucky we are. But Anyway, they're putting up with that. They have got a pipeline being built at the moment coming into the town, but it's not operational operational until next year. But they're hanging out for that, aren't they? 12 truckloads a day, guys. And, and just before Marundi, we come, we come to where Black Caviar was and, and Winks, yeah, when they were breeding. So they were just out of that town, on the way into that town, actually. And that's where they had them for a while, while they were breeding, so... Hey, well, that's for a bit of useless information. <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to work out where we're going at now. We're not sure. It's going to be 38 tomorrow on the road. Oh, 
Tuesday. So, so well, someone's going to get very crabby, I think, aren't they, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're already in your studies. We've got a fridge that keeps them very cold. No freezer or anything, have we? Yeah, but never mind. They were colder when we bought them, and then we had to walk three kilometres. They got warm. They put in the fridge, and they got warmer. Doesn't worry us, though. We'll drink them anyway, won't we? <laughs> we called into the Harley place when we got here, and they've got a very nice Harley Davidson Sports Glide there, haven't they? Oh, God, yeah. Not <laughs> bad. Fits old Rusty really well, eh? A bit rusty? Yeah, it does. It does. looks good on it. Oh, I look good on anything. That's why I'm on her all the time. Yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, we've got to go. Too much traffic. Yeah, too much traffic here. Beautiful day here in the Tweety. It is beautiful. Absolutely glorious day. This is our abode for the night. Bikes are up there around the corner a little bit. They've parked the bikers out of the way tonight, haven't they, babe? Yeah. Why is that? Exaggerating guys, don't believe the word cheese. Show them. Right at the no, it's still, the lights, look, the lights are down the corner there, guys. See that? But as you can see, it's a beautiful day. It's about 28 degrees here at the moment, I think. No word of lies, babe. It's good drinking weather, as we say, on the road. Yes. We've already been to the Harley shop. She got herself some new outfit. Yes, yeah, and me. See? She, keep his chips. And we're about to go to the Indian shop around the corner. Why? Just have a look at the Indian. <laughs> anyway, we'll catch you a little bit later. Is that pool? That pool? Yes. Nice pool. Rusty's going in there naked later. Rusty's skinny dipping in there later, so keep your eyes open, guys. Yep. I think you're not to see much, but keep your eyes open. Pool rules. <laughs> pool rules. See you, guys. Well, it was time for a meal, so we went down to the Tenworth Services Club to the j &L Family Restaurant, all you can eat. Look at these prices, guys. We had an unreal time there. And of course, we didn't walk home. We rolled home, didn't we? We ate far too much. And how far there was, did there you There was have... two little white chocolate buttons on top oh. of it, but they started to melt, so old Rusty ate them. Yes, yeah. and how far did you have to go to get this food? One and a half kilometers. I walked for my, my morning walk. Yeah, thank you, my darling. I'll show you. you. Might not be able to see it from here, can you? Oh, it's way down there. One and a half kilometres. You're a good man, just to get a coffee. Right, here we are. Another day out on the road. We're just leaving the Ibis in at Tamworth, aren't we, my dear? Yes. And we're heading up north. North to Alaska. Aren't we, babe? No. Well, maybe not quite that far. Wherever the fires are not. Well, that's what we're trying to avoid at the moment, are the fires. Yeah, I've got a few warnings, but I didn't get time to check them. Oh, here we go. We could be going into the Armageddon. Well, we'd never clue where we are, so what's the point? Yeah, that's true. Some bloke asked this morning where we're going, and she didn't have a fucking clue, man. <laughs> so as soon as you get the big girl back... Which one, the bike or me? Both. <laughs> both, babe, both. We'll progress. At the moment, I don't know if Henry knows where he wants to go. I think, I think we've got to go back that way, babe. Yeah, we do. You, do, you know? Yeah. I'll <laughs> be fucked. We turn right, left at the lights down there. I'm going to hang a righty here, a righty righty, okay? Yeah, and then we should come out on that other street, unless you're doing a Yui. Yeah, I'm doing a Yui. Alright. I'm doing a Yui. Come in, come in, come in, come in. Come Quick. On. I'm not sure if we're going the right way or not. You ready? Yeah. Come on, pick up, pick up, pick up. Come on. Oh, we're going right. Not the way I thought we were going. Ah. Uh, well, you said to the left, that's last night. You're gonna die on it, yeah. Where do you go if you go straight ahead? I don't know, babe. No. Don't ask questions. Okay. <laughs> well, there's a few cars in that coffee place. Yeah, and a lot of walk-up people too. Yeah. 
A little bit more lined up over here to the left. Yeah. You must be able to order, can you? Oh, I don't think so. Why does it say walk up? <laughs> must be some Because you'll walk up into the door to order instead of driving up. Oh. Like I did. Where's the bloody drive through? On the other side where that car's coming out over there. Far side, yeah, next to the blue wall. Yep. That was our coffee for the morning, wasn't it? And an egg and bacon roll. Was it not? It was. It was very nice. Get over. Yep, Baraba. So, 95. Or okay. Bingara, or whatever it is. I don't know. Yes, we've never been out this way before. Never? No, never, ever have we. Gunnada down to the left. Gunnada, yes. We've been that way. Yep. Sort of the way we normally go out, actually. Yeah. 